auto, which would be full climate control, cooling, which would be air conditioning, heat. And this LED accent on the lights. So we can control brightness, go to minus. He just keeps hitting the menu button. So I recently posted a video of my brother and I and Dave test driving side-by-sides with cabs. They were 835M and 835R, which are John Deere machines. The R is a loaded, very plush model. And the new 2020 Defender HD10 Limited, which has air conditioning. And I really didn't give the viewers a fair look at the the Defender Limited and I wanted to do a follow-up video and I wanted to learn more about the machine because more than likely if I do trade my XMR in it would be for a cab uh, Defender and I that's where everything's going and I was very impressed with this unit my brother wanted to stay green with John Deere and it's his purchase and that's a beautiful machine um, to me I wanted something that I could use in the yard that was a little more aggressive on the trail. And just a quick walk around on this machine. They did put arched suspension A-arms on the machine, increasing its ground clearance. It's up to 13 inches as advertised. Let's check out the back to see where we're at. We're at 12 in the back. That can easily be, be adjusted with the preloads on the shock. I did that on my machine. Um, the lights are, are really, it's amazing how much the auto industry overflows into the off-road utility industry. I'll give you a look at the lights. My German cars, and now all cars, have this LED, this LED accent on the lights, plus high intensity bulbs. I don't believe those are LEDs, I could be wrong. Um, but the lighting on the machine, that accent is just amazing. Let's go back and look at the rear lights. So it looks like LED rear lights, and those are just the running lights, that's not a brake light. So, these side-by-sides have come a long way since my 2006 Ranger. A 4,500 pound winch comes standard on it. Looks like the front bumper comes on it. Let's walk around to the inside. The, the seal on the door. Look at the thickness of the door. And my brother was concerned about mud getting on the side. The door actually overhangs the machine. You know, I guess I have a ruler. This is millimeters. Actually overhangs the machine by two and five eighths inches. And you can see some of the mud splatter up on the side of the machine. I'll turn the cab light on. I don't know if you caught that. I'll, I'll do it again. The, the seal on the door when it shuts is, is just so impressive. That's amazing. So we're sealed impressively all around the door. When I got out on the passenger side, I could almost not shut it because it was sealed so tight. Um, ton of headroom in the cab amazing headroom in the cab we have support for helmets to hit up against this does not have a stereo in it but boy that's almost like a natural to get a bluetooth stereo we have cutouts for the speakers for the stereo unit for accessory switches both on the head at the head of the windshield and also on the dashboard I guess this is how you control the windshield wiper and also washing the windshield. 
this is what's on most units and I think this is a thousand dollar windshield it's a flip up windshield glass I think you can go like five or ten miles an hour with the windshield up on it but obviously that would be for summer days working around your yard we'll latch that uh, defrost vents on the front windshield I'm not sure if that's a side vent let's take a look nope that's not a side vent but venting that you could direct to your, uh, I'm going to shut the lights off. Venting you could direct to your side windshields. There's your dashboard venting. Now, this, I'm going to put the machine in park. This was the heating control that we were mixed up on how to use it. And it's a dial. So you can see I'm dialing in. I'm dialing in the temperature that I want. It's climate control, so it actually will go to the temperature you set it. Then you push it in, and it's asking heat, dial, auto, which would be full climate control, cooling, which would be air conditioning, heat. And you would just click on, I want heat. Then the next, it has your fan control. Minimum, medium, max. So three fan control settings. And then it goes back to your temperature. So let's go through that again. Heat, fan, temperature setting. Pretty doggone nice. Very, very nice. Um, this is new to me because we have down here, I'll leave it, I don't have the machine running, but I have the ignition on. We're in, we're in two wheel drive, the front end is open. That's all wheel drive. Uh, this is the rear diff is open. That would be the rear diff is locked. You can see it's lit up. Then we have our drive modes eco mode off and that's usually just like my my outlander max with this screen now you're in normal driving mode and if you hit it again that work mode would give you a little more throttle during the initial throw and then we're back to eco mode so you cycle through it through the switch uh, trip indicator the menu button and toggle through that let's see what's there speed stat max someone's had this up to 36 miles an hour this will probably go 65 miles an hour my xmr almost does that with 30 well it goes 58 miles an hour with 32 inch tires engine temp which is the machine hasn't been running battery voltage nice settings let's go into settings Speed RPM gives you a choice there. Units, reset stat, brightness, which is nice. You can talk. Let's go on the brightness. So, how would we do this? Toggle up and down, probably. Nope. So, we can control brightness, go to minus. You just keep hitting the menu button. Let's hit OK. Flip through the menu, clock exit we'll hit ok so that's all controlled through this little touch screen now one thing <clears throat> that i didn't notice is it, it does not have like my xmr does the electric locking front smart lock front differential on it so this does have a visco lock front end on it i don't know how big a deal that is I will tell you the 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 smart lock on my machine is pretty amazing on my 2019 XMR. Love the location of the cup holders. Uh, also he has cup holders in the armrest, which this flips up and down. Beautiful interior. What else is there to show you? 
Uh, obviously, we have our safety restraints. This is a three person, uh, three people can ride abreast in this machine too easily. Three might be a little tight. Um, I would say I would give the John Deere an edge on that cab was pretty wide. Um, as far as plushness inside of a machine, uh, this is a plastic on this door. It looks, it's such a high grade of plastic. I actually thought it was a vinyl or cloth and it's plastic. John Deere does not have power windows, but Can-Am does. The window does not quite drop all the way down. My brother was worried that having your arm on the glass would be discomforting if you were riding around the yard or trail riding. I, I don't know. That's an excellent point uh, that the glass doesn't go all the way down. Um, that he didn't like it, but I think there were other reasons why he went to John Deere also. But what's amazing, just like a car, dual switch for the passenger side window. That dual switch is uh, how car like can you get? What's nice about having a cab like my tractor that has a cab, I can leave it outside locked and not worried about the cockpit of the tractor, the elements beating up on the cockpit of the tractor. The same thing with this machine, you can you could leave it outside if you didn't have an area to store it. Um, pretty impressive. Gear selector is just like on my 2019 Defender XMR. <clears throat> it's on the dashboard, it's gated, some people don't like this. They like the Polaris where you can just slide it up and down. This does have a parking location so where it will lock in place and park. Something my, my Defender does not have is a parking brake. Okay, there we go. So that's how you set the parking brake. And to release it, put a little pressure on them down. So you have to push the brake all the way down. Pull up, then release some pressure on the on the brake pad, and it's locked in place. So it does have a parking brake on it. it does have an outlet, 12 volt plug, cigarette lighter to charge things. Looks like you can put in a second one. And uh, same storage, storage underneath the seat as my uh, as my. Defender has my XMR 2019. This is something you have to push this tab in. I always forget and just pull the armrest down. But you have to push this tab in to set the armrest down. Again, nice storage here, storage, and this removable toolbox. And again, this, as you all know, you've seen a million times that unleashes. So, um, if I was to get this machine, I'm not sure if I would go with camo. The other optional cover is uh, silver. I would definitely look into getting a stereo right away on it. A Bluetooth stereo that I could connect my phone in it. And I really have to test, look into the specs of the machine to make because I would want to drive it on the trail a little bit just like I do my XMR and I was always worried that a cab unit would be too top heavy um, these doors are an expensive option to add on a normal Defender I want to say they're over three thousand dollars there's some heft to them so there's weight in the doors glass front and back glass weight and glass and in the roof and so the machine is more top heavy than an open Defender. And I would just make sure on the off cambers that it could handle an off camber without tipping over because this would be a lot of money tipping over. Uh, these are not inexpensive units. Uh, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful.
What I didn't see, is there an option? Let me see if there's an option to turn this off. So there is a little button right there to shut the air conditioning off. Storage area, which I think I don't use on mine. We have a storage area underneath the debt on the left driver's knee side. And also uh, underneath, behind the instrument cluster. So I'm gonna wrap it up on the inside of this machine. I think that's about it. Man, those of you that have been riding off-road off -road a long time or have had gators uh, around golf courses or your property, have we come a long time? I have the same material on my Defender XMR and it's just awesome. And what's also interesting is they they left, they formed the door around this, this bolster piece that you have to take off. I had to take this piece off when I put my doors on. Very solid. Let's go look at the engine. The John Deere came standard with an electric hydro hydraulic dump for the dump bed. You can get a electric screw drive dump for the Defender. Um, I never had a problem dumping my Rangers or my Defender with just a spring that they give you. But having the hydraulics is pretty cool. Um, wow, they've changed us. Give you some phone light some light from my phone. They have modified this transmission cover. Um, not quite sure what this is here. I don't know if that's an, an inspection port or not. Um, this is the exhaust. This is the exhaust for the transmission right here if you can see it that's the exhaust up high it's higher than the wheels maybe the bottom of it is as high as the wheels here's the intake for the transmission it has a pre-filter on it which i like and it goes down to the transmission again if you're buying these check to make sure that these clamps are tight on it so this cover i'll look at mine when i get home this is definitely changed Looks like they did do some rework on the muffler. Of course, you got this big dog. I love it. It's almost a Harley engine, this V-twin 1000cc engine, which is just a torque master. Mine is 72 horsepower. This is 82 horsepower. Um, it looks like you have your coolant up here and your windshield washer reservoir back here. I believe the... I believe the back panel is glass. That's not plexiglass. See the hinge, beefy hinge points on the machine. And then again, which Can-Am and Polaris have beat themselves up back and forth is heavy duty suspension components. I don't know how you would bend this on the trailer working around your yard. Um, I think they're even beefier on my XMR. Very impressive inner fender wall, which works. Uh, a little bit that the mud gets caught up in here on my machine. Um, big horn tires, 27 inch tires. This looks like it's at least 12 inches wide, but why don't we check it? We got a ruler. Not quite 12 inches wide, but over an 11 inch wide tire. Uh, very impressive though. I'm, I like Longhorns, uh, but you know I'm becoming a fan of ITP tires. You can, again, what's nice is if you leave this outside, what a sound. You can lock it, defend your limited badging. This looks like a 9-inch front tire. Again, let's look at the suspension. Big suspension components. Uh, you can preload the shocks. I did preload them on the rear, but we're over an inch in suspension components. 
Again, I'm not an expert on this machine. We got our fuel tank, we have our engine. This looks like the component or pump for the air conditioning. This might be the air conditioning compressor. And we have the transmission. Uh, so this is over an inch and a half, I think. Lower A arm. Look at the size of the sway bar, which I'm worried about it tipping over on it on an off camber. Maybe an inch, maybe 35 millimeters, as Dave would say. Uh, very beefy rear sway bar. Hardest part of these preloaded dump bodies is, is getting them down. That wasn't bad at all. And it does have our front sway bar. Very similar to my, my XMR Defender. You can see the, the heating and cooling components running up front. And there's probably an exchanger underneath this hood, but I'm not going to take the panel off. I could definitely feel they tuned this motor differently when I started. She rumbled. So uh, how they got that 10 horsepower out of it, I don't know. I don't need to know. But she definitely uh, rumbled when I started it. I'm going to ask them if I can drive it. They You're good. Perfect, thank you. Smile. This is Terry Armstrong, the owner of Pioneer Motorsports. Hi, and I'm the second best customer. <laughs> this video would not be possible without the help of the Pioneer Motorsports dealership and especially the Armstrong family allowing me to come in and do this video of a machine I, I can't tell you, and, and it, most of you probably already know how important it is, a relationship is with your dealership, and the Armstrong family and associates have been wonderful to me. So thank you, Pioneer Motorsports. a little bit noisier it is a little bit noisier than the John Deere but not much definitely definitely moves the machine with more authority more authority because it's got 30 some horsepower more than the John Deere uh, definitely moves the machine this engine moves it with much more authority um, but that could be the clutching too, but it, this is this is similar to my XMR. It, it is not lacking for power uh, Again, it's not a razor It's not a razor but um, you can take this on the trail and um, And it's fine take it over by my car a lot of action going on here at Pioneer I'm gonna keep this test drive short I'm gonna give you some views of it on the outside I'll just do some circles by my car I'll put the camera on top of my car we'll do them over here thanks to competition we have three great cab 
side-by-side -side UTVs with heating and air conditioning to pick from. Polaris Ranger, John Deere Gator, and my favorite, the can -AM Defender Limited. Awesome machine. ATV lot is busy on a Saturday afternoon. So this concludes my video of the Defender. I didn't think I gave it a fair shake on that test drive. Although I'll go through the interior of my brother's John Deere so you can see it. Dreams can come true on four wheels and those wheels can be off-road wheels. This is a picture of my brother and his daughter who's my goddaughter and my brother is driving his, my goddaughter and his four grandchildren around his neighborhood and his side by side and that's exactly what he wanted. Good for you Patrick, I'm glad your dream came true. So this concludes my video on the 2020 Can-Am Defender Limited. Full cab with air conditioning, really cool machine beautiful interior. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you ride motorsports, please wear a helmet for your safety and protection. And I hope to see you on the trail. God bless. Thank you.